Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at the top 20 scariest ghost videos of 2021. In this list, I will only feature videos that I featured on my channel throughout the year. So, without further ado, let's begin. You may remember a while ago on the channel, I featured a chilling video on TikTok by the user DinoNucket741, and now it seems as if he is back with yet another terrifying piece of footage to show the world. The uploader says he has a haunted basement and is going downstairs to investigate, probably because he may have just heard some sort of noise coming from within it, prompting his curiosity to get the better of him. When he goes to look a little bit further into the situation, he stumbles upon something horrifying. I'm not afraid, man. Come on out, man. By looking at the enhanced image of the figure on the bottom right corner of the screen, you can tell that this figure is definitely some sort of shadow person or creature lurking inside this basement. Whereas most people would be too scared to investigate after seeing it, this guy proceeds to look around the basement and as you saw, proceeds to get closed in as the door shuts on him while ascending the staircase. Hopefully this guy doesn't have to deal with more ghosts in the near future. Bailey the Bailey runs a TikTok account known as Theatre of the Absurd that focuses on his life adventures and also his experiences with being a caretaker at a theatre, hence the title of his account. In the video, Bailey takes his camera out to the main stage of the theatre and seems to be confident that he is going to be able to capture something of interest on camera. Sure enough, he did. As a matter of fact, what he saw that day scared him so much that he says he is contemplating quitting his job. After seeing the clip, I can't say that I blame him. Look at this scary piece of footage. What's up y'all, as always, if the sensor gets tripped I film it, just in case we see anything. So here we go. It's uh, 9pm on a Saturday. This is my life. So I'm walking through the main stage. <clears throat> Here, I'll flip it. Okay. Ghost light is on. No one in here. Hello? Okay. Although it can only be seen for a couple of seconds, if you look at the top balcony, you can see what appears to be two ghosts standing there while Bailey films from a distance. Of course, this could have been a setup and these could just be two of Bailey's friends, but the video has an unmistakably realistic and eerie feeling to it that you just can't shake. There's also no over the top fake screaming or panicking noises here either. In fact, when Bailey does point the camera up to the balcony, he doesn't say a word. Perhaps because he's too shocked at what he's looking at to even make a noise. So is this authentic footage of ghosts caught in a theater? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Over on TikTok, a user named WV Paranormal shared a video to their account 
which follows a woman who is outside camping somewhere when she suddenly spots something not too far in the distance that shakes her to the core. She is so freaked out by it that she attempts to capture the incident on camera, stating, nobody's ever gonna believe this. It may take a moment for you to see it, but look right beside the tent and you will see something genuinely terrifying. Oh my god, nobody is gonna ever believe this. All right, we're going, we're going back inside. Did you see it? A tall figure with a completely white head seems to be peeking at the woman filming before the video ultimately shuts off without warning. The woman says that she's going to go back inside for safety and we can only hope that she was safe after she stopped recording. By its tall appearance in dark clothing and its white face, it almost looks like the Slender Man or some other strange shadow figure. What do you think this mysterious stranger is? And maybe even better, what do you think their intentions were? For now, it remains a mystery, but we can only hope that we and the woman in the video get answers someday. The Paranormies are back at it again in their newest video and this time they are exploring and conducting an investigation at the Sinister Farm, which is said to be an incredibly creepy and haunted place. When they arrive at the farm, it is already dark and gloomy outside, and they have only flashlights to rely on in order to see things. They begin to look around the outside of the house, but they miss something genuinely terrifying in the top window that appears and disappears just as quickly. Take a look. This place, all the glasses shattered and stuff. So it's got to be that window. It'd be that window, barn. I'm trying to light back here. A couple of minutes later, they are inside of the farmhouse now and are making an attempt to communicate with any potential spirits in the house. One of the men asks the spirit to say the word farm if they are in the room. He hears a voice and then asks, who are you? The response he gets is utterly chilling. Yeah. If that was you, can you say farm? Who are you? Demon. That is a clear demon. Yeah, I heard that too. Towards the end of the video, one of the crew members is in the upstairs area of the farmhouse and is looking around the incredibly quiet and eerie room, when all of a sudden, the room is no longer as silent as a mouse. Boy. Johnny. Did you hear that? What was that? I heard something. It was this light bulb, dude. A light bulb. Look. Oh my god. That wasn't already there? No. The group is just about ready to leave not long after, understandably so, but before they can, they are given one last scare by the spirits in the house. Grab this camera. <clears throat> and then, let's uh... Table tipping. Yeah, I kinda wanna just show Is that it. what it's called? It's called table tipping, yeah. It is? Okay. I didn't know if I had like an official name or something. Okay, yeah, so I kind of want to 
set up a camera in that corner there and I want to set up a camera either in this corner or Dude, what was that? What? The Sinister Farm is undoubtedly one of the creepiest farms I've seen in a while on the internet. And it's a good thing that the Paranormies didn't get harmed or too terribly frightened during this investigation. Let's just hope that if they do come back for another video, they are not going to be harmed by these spirits. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, what was that? A man on YouTube going by the username 1916 Haunting says that he was just filming a video about his new house and all the changes he was making to it for his subscribers and his family members to watch. The house that he just bought was built in 1916 and obviously, since more than 100 years have gone by since the house was initially constructed, many people have inhabited the walls and, inevitably, some have died inside as well. Around the 10 minute mark in the video, the YouTuber is conducting his house tour, as he promised, but it doesn't necessarily go as smoothly as he initially planned. He turns the corner and shows off his makeshift bar he is setting up at the room when he hears something nearby that shakes him to his core. Have a look and a listen. This and of course you got, you got the bar. This is a work in progress thing. Hey what, what the f***? Should I tell Emily? Look, even she's freaking out. Loud, rapidly increasing footsteps are heard racing down the staircase, which causes the uploader to have a brief lapse of panic at the sudden loud noise. But when he goes to investigate, he can't find anybody or anything inside the house. Take a look at some of the other creepy things that have happened in this basement and surrounding the staircase. All right, so pardon the mess, but this is what I was telling you about, man. So, you got the toilet. Yeah, it's it's a completely open bathroom just in the middle of the... Since this has happened, the uploader believes that perhaps it is the ghost of somebody who has passed away in the house many years ago and is still stuck, forever confined in the walls. What do you think? Is there a ghost in this YouTuber's house? Is this something less sinister and he shouldn't worry? Let me know your thoughts. A Mexican YouTuber named Mysterio JL is well known by his subscribers for his frequent uploads which typically focus on him exploring allegedly haunted and abandoned buildings and documenting his findings for his viewers. In one video published to his channel in November of 2021, Mysterio is exploring an undisclosed building that looks as if it has seen better days. The building is worn down with graffiti strewn all over the walls and the interior so quiet that you could hear a pin drop. 
At about the 10 minute mark in the video, Mysterio and his friends suddenly get a strange feeling while investigating and proceed to explore with a bit more caution than before. Little did they know that someone or something was actually watching them. Take a look. Se vio algo acá este lado, güey. Acá, acá colombiano pasó algo ahí. Just two minutes later, the two men explore an entirely different area in the building when they hear this. Oi. Oi. At this point, they are getting significantly freaked out, but they nevertheless continue to press forward with the investigation, which proves to be a mistake. While trying to get the attention of any potential spirits in the area, something genuinely terrifying can be seen lingering in the background of the shot. A mysterious dark figure rushes by in the background, causing the videographer to gasp in complete shock. Just a few moments later, Mysterio and his partner make the decision to flee the area as quickly as possible, not wanting to stick around to see what the strange figure was. Was this the ghost of a deceased child, the one that said mama earlier, or was this something entirely different? We may never know the answer. This video posted to TikTok by a woman named Cortez Opina, 14, starts off relatively normal enough. She films this adorable looking bunny, but it is clear right away that the animal is looking at something a little bit off in the distance, and we are left to wonder what it could be possibly staring at. We get our answer pretty quickly, but it is definitely nothing innocent. What this animal is staring at turns out to be terrifying. Take a look. By all accounts, it certainly looks like this is a running pair of pants, with nobody inside of them. But as we know, that can't be possible, right? It is definitely one of the weirdest and most unexplainable videos I have seen in quite some time. Sadly, there's not too much context about this video, so we are left to our own imagination as to what exactly this TikTok user was able to capture this day. So is this a possessed pair of pants? that are running around without anybody in them. Is this a hoax created in the hopes of getting some views and followers? Or is something else at play here? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Most of the time on the paranormal community section on YouTube, you will more often than not see videos of people exploring various different abandoned buildings, local to their area, whether it be a school, a church, a hospital, or even sometimes large mansions. These are typically the kinds of places that are explored on YouTube, but in one video uploaded to Urbex Hills YouTube channel, the channel owner Chris actually explores an entirely abandoned neighborhood, which is sure to cover you with goosebumps. Throughout the nearly hour-long video, Chris walks us through the neighborhood, which feels like something ripped straight out of The Walking Dead or The Last of Us. Just because of how desolate and eerily quiet it is in the area. The neighborhood became abandoned in the 1990s after a terrible fire ravaged through and destroyed nearly every apartment building. 
For a while during Chris's investigation, nothing outright creepy happens. But that all changes when Chris decides to explore one of the charred buildings. Take a look at this. This door closing seemingly all by itself is just the first sign that this area is not just abandoned, but possibly haunted too. If any skeptics out there need more proof, then take a look at this shot right here and pay close attention to this part before the green slats can be seen. Did you see it? If not, I urge you to take a closer look, as you should be able to make out what appears to be some sort of creepy looking ghost girl. Then, about 30 seconds later, something else that is very creepy can be seen. Watch this. A terrifying ghostly face can be seen appearing on the glass of the window, on the ground to the right hand corner of the screen. The video goes on for a few minutes longer before Chris ultimately decides to pack his things and head home. This investigation is just proof that haunted and abandoned places can be anywhere. Even the most unexpected of places, like an entire neighborhood. Reddit user Rasland Hafiz97 shared the following piece of footage to the ghost subreddit that shows him simply walking down the street late at night in the city. What initially started off as a peaceful nightly walk quickly turned into something quite strange, as you will soon see. Take a look at what he captured that night. It's unmistakable that something was walking across from Raslan, but he's not entirely sure exactly what it is, and neither am I. By all accounts, it looks like it could be some sort of ghostly figure taking a nightly stroll before vanishing without a trace. Raslan points out that the figure could possibly be somebody walking around in the middle of the night with a white blanket over their head. But that may actually be more bizarre than an actual ghost. So what do you think this figure is, and what is it doing out so late at night? Let me know your theories in the comments below. Michael and Heather are two paranormal investigators that primarily use the social media platform TikTok, where they frequently upload videos that typically sees them investigating a certain paranormal occurrence or documenting findings of their own. On one typical day, Michael and Heather were both at home, sitting and watching some television, when something odd captured their attention instead. When they got up to investigate, this is what happened. <laughs>
Shit. Loud knocking noises can be heard coming from various different doors in the house. But as you can see, when they approach the doors, nobody is seen on the other side. At one point in the video, Michael opens up one of the doors, which causes the noise to stop temporarily. But just a few moments later, the same knocking sound can be heard coming from an entirely different door. So of course, this video begs the question, what could possibly be causing this mysterious knocking noise? Let's hope that Michael and Heather soon get the answers they so desperately need. YouTuber Dark Ghost Paranormal uploaded a video to his channel in August of 2021 that sees him heading out to an abandoned school bunker located somewhere in Germany that is allegedly very haunted. Immediately when he arrives on the scene, he can tell that the school bunker has long been abandoned. Bits of rubble and debris are scattered around the area, and it looks as though the place hasn't been touched in ages, making his surroundings that much more unsettling. At one point in the video, a stationary camera that was set up in one of the school's corridors seems to capture something quite unnerving. Take a look. About two minutes later, while exploring one room, the YouTuber notices something very bizarre happen with one of the pieces of furniture in the room, before something else happens regarding a box in a separate room. I'm in this room. Give me a sign if I'm in this room. Give me a sign if I need to find somewhere. So far, this place has shown some genuinely intense paranormal activity, but nonetheless, Dark Ghost Paranormal works up the courage to continue on with his investigation. This, of course, proves to be a mistake. Take a look at the terrifying encounters that happen next. Ты специально меня сюда заманила? Отпусти меня.
Understandably, not wanting to stay any longer, he can no longer take being in the building and calls it a day. But the question still looms. What in the world did he experience during his investigation? Furniture was seen to move around, strange noises were heard, and doors seemed to lock by themselves, all while he was on the other side. Was there some sort of ghostly apparition trying to trap him there? I'll let you decide. Over on the ghost subreddit, a reddit user named LividXQ1640 shared a video titled Abandoned House I Spotlighted. The video begins with the uploader driving in his car down a dark and creepy road late at night before spotting the abandoned house off to the left. As he pulls up outside of the house, it is clear that it is completely abandoned and has definitely seen some better days. But just as the upload and his friend in the vehicle are about to investigate further, something scares them away for good. So, what is it? Well, let's take a closer look. Go, 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 go. Holy f***. What? Go, 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 The moment the uploader saw this strange figure in the house, his immediate reaction was to tell his friend to drive away ASAP, which seems like a genuine reaction. But it still begs the question, who or what was inside that abandoned house? Was it a squatter? Was it a strange ghost or creature? Or was this all a hoax? Let me know what you think in the comments. Playgrounds are a place for children to spend as much time as they want, going on swing sets and having fun on various different slides. Chances are you went to a playground many times as a kid and remember it fondly as being a nostalgic, safe place to spend your days during your youth. But not all playgrounds are fun. Some playgrounds are said to be haunted by the ghosts of children. Take for instance the Shelton Park that is said to be home to several ghost children. According to legend, at night, these kids can be heard playing and having fun. But eventually, their happy voices turn to screams of absolute terror. This video shows a playground at an undisclosed location at night. The uploader says that the footage was filmed by his neighbor who was recording his daughter going down the slide at their local playground. The young girl in question is about to go down the slide and when she does, it looks like she has fun. But little did she know that something genuinely unnerving happened right behind her. Hey, vente. Hey, vente. If you look closely behind the little girl, you can see what appears to be some sort of a ghostly boy peering at the girl from behind her, before vanishing without a trace. The uploader says that his neighbor swears that at the time of recording this video, there was nobody else at the playground, and that it was just him and his children, the strange figure not being one of them. So what could have possibly been behind the young girl at the slide? Was it a ghostly boy wanting to make a new friend? Clever video editing. We may never know the definitive answer. A TikTok creator known as TSCTV frequently records live streams for his viewers to watch that typically document him exploring abandoned buildings to see if he can find anything exciting or creepy inside. In this particular video, the uploader is seen exploring some sort of strange abandoned building out in the middle of nowhere, which certainly adds to the unsettling atmosphere of the footage. 
At first, Tia sees Lucky and doesn't seem to find anything truly terrifying, but that all changes in just a matter of seconds. Take a look. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad Astaghfirullah ala dim ya Allah mang astaghfirullah ala dim Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad ya Allah ya Rabbi astaghfirullah men aing masa harus nangis cer ya Allah macam astaghfirullah ala dim ya Allah aduh Absolutely frozen in shock, TSC stands still and doesn't have any idea what to do, while he looks at the strange figure standing not too far away in front of him. A few minutes later, TSC makes his way around the building slowly, but he doesn't get far before he sees the same exact figure looming in front of him once more. Allahu Akbar mang Allah mang astagfirullah aladim astagfirullah aladim ni gua zumpul ni ngaco lu ya Allah Allah waduh tu masih ada lagi cu astagfirullah aladim umi astagfirullah aladim ya Allah Allah Akbar at this point, the uploader decides to go outside, trying his best to get away from the figure, even though it doesn't show any signs of being deadly. He wisely makes the choice to exit the building, but even still, he doesn't seem to be too safe as this happens. Allah Akbar Astagfirullah Aladim Astagfirullah Aladim Ya Allah Ya Rabbi Allah Akbar Allah This is definitely one of the most mysterious and unexplainable videos I've seen in quite a while. Where exactly is this building and what was its original purpose? And of course, the question on everybody's mind, what was that figure and what were its intentions? Thankfully, TSC managed to escape the area before he could find out the answer. A TikTok user named Andy Winehouse shared two videos to his account, both of which have been creeping viewers out immensely. In the video, Andy states that he has been hearing some strange sounds inside his house. But these are not sounds such as things falling to the floor or doors creaking. What he has been hearing is, somehow, his own voice calling to him from other parts of the house. Take a listen to this. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I told you. Come here. The voice proceeds to urge him to come here while Andy can only stop and listen in complete disbelief before walking back to his room and locking the door behind him. In the second part of the video, it is shown that even in the comfort of his own bedroom, Andy cannot find a sense of safety and peace, as a series of loud scratching noises can be heard right at his door. He says that he has a cat, but insists that there is no possible way his cat could make the noise he is hearing. Have a listen. You can literally hear it out there. You can literally hear it out there. No, no. Oh, the f I got him. Ever since these videos have been uploaded, viewers have been scrambling to come up with a logical explanation for what could have happened here. Some theories suggest that this was a setup and Andy is simply playing a recording of his voice from another room to make it sound like another version of him is calling out to him. But even if that was so, it still doesn't explain the terrifying clawing noises coming right at his door. At the end of the second video, Andy even opens the door and finds his cat simply sitting there proving that his pet was not the culprit. To this day, Andy's scenario remains a complete mystery. 
What would you do if you heard your own voice calling out to you? Signs and Signals is a small YouTube channel that also focuses on abandoned and haunted building exploration style content. In the past, the crew behind the channel have explored some genuinely terrifying places, but nothing could prepare them for this particular night. In October of 2021, the camera crew heads on out to a church that just so happens to be very haunted. The over 20 minute video is jam packed with tons of creepy things and the first of many things happens just about 9 minutes into the exploration when the uploader static cam begins to display something strange. You, you, know, you know you want to do something? Come on! We here, we waiting. You, you got a whole crowd watching you bro, come on, do something. Show yourself, do something. That sounded like it was from back there too. Oh, we got that. If it was back there, we definitely got it. Come on. Come on, yeah, do something else. What's up? Dude, this thing is making me pissed off, baby. Then a couple of minutes later, the crew are heading inside of another room all while they are shrouded in near total darkness and silence, surely adding to their sense of unease. But all of a sudden, something scares the videographer so much that he actually falls to the ground. Take a look. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know, that's what I'm saying. It's just gonna water there. That's what you don't care. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh. Hey, hey, what the hell was that? Hey. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Luckily, the videographer is able to brush himself off and amazingly is able to continue on with the investigation despite what just happened to him. They then come to a room that one of the men was in beforehand and if you look just out of the corner of your eye, you should be able to see something quite chilling. A little bit later on, before they are able to pack their things and head home for the night, they are in for one last bone chilling scare. Look at this. What the f was that, dude? What, what, what? Did you didn't hear that, man? What'd you hear? What'd you hear? You didn't hear that whisper, dude? Right in my ear, dude. I didn't hear it. It was just like I heard a, I heard a thump that over there. Yeah, what the hell is that? Dude, get, get stuff. Get your light. What? Get your light. Get your light. Go. A mysterious voice can be heard whispering what sounds like your mind before multiple chairs move around all by themselves. After this, the crew members decide to leave the building, which I would say was for the best. I'd also say it's a safe bet to assume that these guys will not be venturing back to this church for a second investigation. ILM Bano Paranormal is a YouTuber that frequently uploads videos of himself exploring abandoned buildings, documenting his findings for his subscribers to watch. In one video, ILM uploaded footage of himself exploring an allegedly haunted abandoned factory, but the exact location and name of the factory has not been disclosed. The video definitely isn't shot on scares, as these two terrifying things happen in the first two minutes of the footage alone. Take a look. What's active? So I'm gonna put it right here, I think. That it's the best. Okay. No way. Hello? 
Just a few minutes later, ILM is exploring another room in the factory when he hears something that startles him not too far in the distance. Okay. <laughs> that was the scariest thing. Or it maybe wasn't. No way. Hello! However, in one of the nearby rooms, if you look carefully, you can make out something incredibly creepy in the exact same room that ILM is exploring, unbeknownst to him at the time. Look closely. I didn't upload for like five, six months, and you like really get that video to 1K. Probably because I want to communicate with them and I think that room is good for communication. Plus I have my camera on there. Hello? At the 9 minute mark, the uploader sets his camera down in order to see if he can capture any sort of strange activity without walking around and, sure enough, two incredibly mysterious things happen. This thing. I don't know if you can see it. After this, he walks around the staircase area where he begins to hear some strange sounds coming from nearby. But before he can even start investigating the source of them, something else happens that startles him even more. I'm scared of this. Hello? I heard sounds from here. I swear. Hello? In a second part, ILM walks around near a door frame and proceeds to ask if any sort of spirit is present. And although no spirit makes it clear audibly, it does confirm its existence physically. Look closely at the door frame. Meanwhile, in another room inside the factory, where a stationary camera is set up, some truly bizarre and unexplainable activity is captured, followed by an incredibly chilling incident with an EVP. Watch this. Right towards the end of the video though, it seems as though the spirit in the factory is tired of ILM being in the building and exploring, and the entity in question wants to make it clear. When ILM is walking around a room at the end of the footage, this happens. Pozor mimo provoz. Ano. No! Fuck. 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 It's hard to say for certain if this is real or just a hoax. Everything does seem quite authentic, plus ILM's reactions to everything that occurred in the factory while exploring sounds genuine. But you can never know for sure. So what do you think? Is this real or fake? 
Let me know your ideas in the comments below. The Paranormies are a fast-growing YouTube channel that frequently uploads videos depicting abandoned building explorations as well as general paranormal investigations, all of them being highly unique and terrifying in nature. The backstory behind this investigation goes as follows. Richard inherited his grandparents' house after they passed away. After some time in the house, he began hearing noises coming from the attic. Richard decides to check the attic, thinking there could be an animal, but finds nothing except for a journal. Reading through the journal, there are descriptions of animal torture and sacrificial rituals, and the murder of a man. After that, the paranormal activity in the house got worse, so he decided to set up cameras while he was gone. The following piece of footage was recorded by Richard in the middle of the night. Right from the second it starts, it certainly gives off unsettling vibes, and those uncomfortable feelings turn out to be for good reason. Look at this creepy incident that occurs involving his phone. Then, another scene is shown that was filmed in the kitchen area of Richard's house, and at first, everything seems to be completely normal and innocent. But take a good look at the water machine, and you will see that something is very amiss here. Then a different angle a few moments later shows some very creepy things happening in the kitchen. Take a look. I was to see if anybody, or to see who it was. Yeah, right. Um, but you also mentioned on the phone when we talked to you that there was some, there was an odor um, as well. Yeah, it almost smelled like a, a butcher shop. A butcher shop. Yeah. Um, I gotta say that some of the best paranormal footage that, that I've ever seen. Um, who do you believe wrote the journal then? I honestly have no idea. Okay. What are you hoping to find out from our investigation? Well, I'm kind of hoping that you guys are able to bring peace. A while later in the video, the Paranormies are using an Oculus device in one of the bedrooms, which speaks to them, saying, Reason. Then immediately afterward, this happens. Reason. Reason? Reason. Did you have... What reason did you have? No way. Oh, holy shit. After this, they proceed to head outside to the exact spot where coordinates were given to them in a journal, fully expecting to find evidence, animal bones, or some sort of ritual, or maybe even a body. But while they are out there, they hear something truly terrifying. Something that no body would want to hear outside in a desolate area, much less at night. Watch and listen to this. Ow! What is that, firewood? Oh my god! In a separate part 2 video, we see more footage that was filmed from Richard in what appears to be a living room, and it doesn't take long at all for things to get a little unsettling. Look at what was captured. A couple of minutes later, the Paranormies are sitting down at a table for a moment, but still making sure that they are still recording. It's a good thing that they were, otherwise they would not have been able to capture this terrifying incident on camera.
okay. Oh, I freaked oh. the shit out of me. What yeah, is now it? it's level. Now level? It, now it's starting to say stuff. That's exactly what happened like in his video. At the 12 minute mark in the investigation, they are finally trying to make communication with any potential spirits in the area when the man behind the camera urges any potential spirits in the room to let us know you're here. Judging by what happens next, I think this spirit hurt him. Let us know you're here. Thank you. Oh, my hands are shaking. The group then conducts the investigation in other areas of the house, but are stopped short when they hear something eerie coming from the upstairs area. Listen to this. It does, it sounds like somebody else is in this house. Oh my god. That's loud. That's... Where is that coming from? It sounds like it's coming from behind me. Like up here. Some people wouldn't dare go upstairs after hearing a sound like that coming from the area. But the paranormies are determined to get to the bottom of this and figure out what is in this house messing with them. One of the crew members walks downstairs for a moment, carrying his Ovulus device, which says something very creepy. He then asks the spirit to scream for him, and while it doesn't obey that command, it does do something else rather remarkable that definitely gives them the proof they need that they are not alone in that house. Look at this. Scream. Can you scream for me? Can you imagine? Oh, man. Whoa. Light just went on again. Oh my god. If this video is authentic and nothing about it was staged in any way, then I must say that the Paranormies video is definitely creepy and is amazing proof of the existence of the paranormal. Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back at it again, and this time he's exploring an old abandoned school called the Central Academy, which is said to be quite haunted. But of course, seeing as how Chris has done this type of thing before, he decides to go in and have a look to see if there's anything of interest. Just two minutes into the investigation, while nearing the school's locker room, something very chilling happens that Chris doesn't seem to notice. A little while later, while exploring a dark and dreary hallway, something very similar happens that is equally terrifying. At this point in the investigation, Chris hasn't noticed anything happening whatsoever, but is continuing to look around nonetheless. Just as he nears his final minutes of investigating, he experiences a few more chilling things before he can exit. Listen to this.
Jesus, that hurts. Someone's upstairs. As mentioned earlier, it doesn't seem that Chris noticed anything watching him from behind the pillars and windows. But if you look closely, you can make out what appears to be some sort of mysterious shadow figure keeping a close eye on him. One thing is for sure, when he reviewed the footage later on, he definitely had quite the scare wasting him. This next entry, filmed in a power station dormitory, located in Malaysia, is absolutely jam-packed with tons of eerie moments that are sure to give you the creeps. In the footage, we follow an unidentified man as he makes his way through the station and almost immediately he comes across something very eerie. He then proceeds to enter the building which, as you can see, is completely abandoned. It's so silent inside that you could quite literally hear a pin drop, which certainly must have added to the man's discomfort while exploring there. Sure enough, it doesn't take long at all for a series of incredibly unsettling things to start to happen, confirming the man's deepest fears. Although the man has already seen so many creepy things happen in such a short span of time, he nevertheless works up the courage to continue on with the investigation, which as you can probably expect, only ends up getting more and more crazy as time goes on. Take a look. Because the building the uploader is exploring is so large and has so many different areas and rooms to it, he decides to keep venturing in 
whereas most people would make the wise decision and leave as soon as possible. But this man puts on his best brave face and presses on, which just leads to more terrifying incidents that he was able to capture. <gasps> Eventually, the uploader gets more and more terrified, which is certainly quite understandable, given the circumstances. But before he makes the final decision to leave once and for all, he gets subjected to yet even more scares for good measure. It's genuinely remarkable just how many incredibly disturbing and frightening things happened in just one video, more specifically one night. If this video is indeed 100% real, then this power station dormitory is without question one of the most haunted places I have ever seen recorded on camera. The sheer amount of paranormal activity on display is truly staggering and is sure to make many people have a hard time sleeping tonight. And that was the top 20 scariest ghost videos of 2021. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content and get ready for many more spooky videos in 2022. My name is Sir Spooks and I'll see you all in the next video. We came back and the gate was just open and we haven't heard anyone. We're trying to determine if this place is haunted. We don't even know what to do. Like, where do we go? That building looks... Oh, dude. It's a dead end. Thanks, man.